What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dice video we finished off our regular season with a game against Vanderbilt and ended up winning 49 to 21. As you can see in the box score we had another great first half. That makes it like four straight games where we were able to sit our first string the entire second half and of course Justin Gates who is having such a great season only played the first half but he ended up having a game like no other just incredible to see him put up the numbers that he's doing in only two quarters at a time just really cool to see him do that now today we're going to play in the conference championship game against the number one team in the country in florida state this is a rematch from last year's conference title game we beat them by at least a couple touchdowns from what i remember but as you can see we got more talent than they do uh, but you look at their stats they're really good at just about everything their weakness i guess is their passing game isn't the best in the world but that doesn't mean a whole lot uh, they must just have really good uh halfbacks maybe or they're just running the ball really well their defense is looking good their turnover differential is really good as well it should be quite the matchup but hopefully we could take care of business and head on to the national championship game I wanted to point out Justin Gates and where he's at in the Heisman watch. He is in fourth place. Now, he's not going to win it. He doesn't have enough yards and touchdowns. He would have probably if I would have played him every single quarter of every game this season, but I didn't want to do that. I care more about just trying to win the games, and hopefully he doesn't get hurt. I don't care about padding stats, but to put up the numbers that he's had with what little time he's played is something else. So it's just really cool to see him on this list. They notice Iowa has a couple players on there as well and there's a very good chance if we win the day we may take on Iowa either that or probably Oklahoma but we will find that out in the next video I wanted to run through the awards and just kind of see where some of our players are at there because there's a good chance in the next video that's when you'll see some of these guys actually maybe win an award or two but we're gonna start with the Maxwell award as you can see Pero is in sixth place he is not going to win this one unless he just goes crazy today but again that's probably not going to happen then you got the big New Yorker award we don't have anybody there quarterback nobody in the top six gates he's I'm sure he's on here somewhere yeah they got him eighth place then we go to the Walker Warner. Pero may have a chance here. Probably not going to win it again unless he just goes off. But it's the Virginia Tech halfback who's putting on quite the clinic this year, especially uh, against us. Wide receiver, no. Tight end, no. Offensive line, Remington, Lombardi, linebacker. Gallagher still has a pretty good chance of winning uh, this award. I'd like to see him maybe get one more interception to tie that, you know, to probably seal the deal there because the, his. The second place guy has more interceptions and tackles, but we play a tougher schedule. I guess that's why Gallagher is getting the nod there. The Groves Award, Sergan. Hey, he actually may be a finalist and may have a chance to actually win that thing, which would be pretty cool to see. Uh, punter, no. Returner, no. And Coach of the Year, there we are in sixth place. We're probably not going to win it, but it's just cool that we made it up to this spot, uh, up to this point. Here are the ACC final standings. It is us in Florida State. Let's go to our team info screen. Of course, we got a clean bill of health. No entries. Gates, Perro, and Peterson kind of doing their thing on offense. McCoy, and Nichols, and Gallagher. Those seem to be the big six there with a couple guys uh, changing out uh, every so often. But it's been pretty stable, but it's a good-looking group. I'd like to see Perro get over 100 yards, but he's been sharing the load with Miranda and Hill a little bit. Now let's look at Florida State. They got a couple players out, defensive players to be exact, a middle linebacker, a corner, or either one leading on anything. It looks like they're not. Their last game, they beat Florida. It looks like they got a quarterback putting up pretty good numbers. So look at their running back. I'm pretty sure that's Anton Smith. 143 yards a game. I'm assuming he is an impact player. And receiving, nobody's really doing a whole lot there. Before we head back to the video, I just want to briefly mention some things in my store. First of all, everything in the store is 20% off when you buy four or more items. It's an incredible deal, especially for those who are new to my channel and my site and they want to get into some of the things that I've been working on and grabbing a handful of things at once. It's a really good a way to uh, save some money on some of this stuff, especially when it comes to my memory card, which is my best seller. It's got all of the named roster files that I have gathered over the years. A lot of people really like that, and it's making their game experience better. I also wrote a new book. It's the NCAA Football Playbook Charts, and I essentially created call sheets 
for every single playbook in the game, or there are 125 of them, I only pick the plays that I like out of each formation. That way you got a nice base to work off of, especially if you are running out of ideas schematically what you want to do on that side of the ball. This book is for you. And, of course, I got a bunch of other books. My Flexible Shoot Playbook. That's the offense I ran with Hawaii a couple dynasties ago. Then you got the West Coast offense. The Al Raid, my best-selling book. Then you got the Spread Option Playbook. That's a nice little collection of, like, just a nice play call sheet for you to run that particular offense. And I got the Power Shoot, the big tight end uh, plays, uh, just a ton of plays in there to get your tight end open, and a bunch of other good books as well. So make sure you check that out. As usual, I was always leave a link in the description above and below. We are in Jacksonville, Florida. It looks like we're going to have rain. Why not? We're always used to having rain games in this dynasty. So this is par for the course. But the last time we were in this stadium, we took care of business. Let's try to do that again today. The weather looks okay outside of the rain, of course, no harsh wind. This is technically the game of the week. I mean, this is two top two teams in the country. It should be, especially it being championship week. And here come the Florida State Seminoles, number one team in the country, undefeated. And here come the number two team in the country, the Duke Blue Devils. They're going to highlight the Smith kid, understandable, putting up really good numbers. There's a good-looking uniforms, caduce to whoever created those. I've been quiet about it. Who are they going to pick? Finally. Lee Corso is going with Florida State. Let's go to the coin toss. They want it, and they will get the ball first, which is fine. Let's check out their roster. Starting quarterback, impact player, 91 overall, 88 speed. Just another problem we're going to have to deal with. I assume we played against him last year. It may have been Xavier Lee. Either way, this is a nightmare situation. And guess what? They got maybe the most talented halfback. So this is like the best backfield we will face all season. 99 overall, 97 speed. Strength is pretty good as well. Just an absolute load of a running back who can do a little bit of everything. 90 at fullback. Just incredible. That entire backfield is insane. Wide receiver, 89. Then a bit of a drop off at 80 and 78, 76. Tight end, 87, 74 speed. Can he catch? And he can. His backup can as well. You look at their offensive line, 86, 87, 99 at center. 82 and 76 at right tackle. Maybe our defensive ends or our defensive line can help out a little bit. They're going to need to because we're not going to do much blitzing today because of that running quarterback. Let's look at their 4-3 defense, starting off 97 overall with an 80 overall at the other end. You look at the defensive tackles, 94 with the 76, 76. So their front four is pretty good. Uh, linebackers, 91, 91, but this guy's out, so it's not a huge drop-off, but it's, we're thankful that he's not playing today. Right outside linebacker, arguably the best outside linebacker in the country, except for maybe... Jimmy McCoy. Now, this guy's the impact guy. He is also, if you saw earlier, he was leading in tackles and an in interception. So he does a little bit of everything. Then you got corners in 91 and 86 and 78. This guy is out, the third stringer. Then you got a free safety, 76, a true freshman. We may try to go after that guy if we can. I'll try not to forget that. Look how big he is just in terms of his weight. 225 pounds. That's awfully heavy for a free safety, and he's only got 86 speed. Right, uh, strong safety, 82 overall with only 85 speed. So maybe we can attack those safeties some today. Average kicker at 74 overall and an awful true freshman punter at 59. So defensively, it comes down to shutting down their backfield, which will be very hard. But we'll see what happens. Now, we may have a chance that they will be more balanced than what I think because their quarterback is an impact guy. But I have a feeling they're going to run the ball a lot. So I'm going to be playing a lot of man until they force me to do otherwise. So they're going four wide. We'll go nickel cover two man. Do something like this. Oh, yeah, I don't have to do any pumping up the crowd. It's a neutral side. They're going to pass out of the gate. Good throw. Don't know what Buchanan messed up on that one. Second and one. Well, let's go four three man. I can see him just running it for a first. Florida State. We're going to do something like this. I'm going to take a chance. They're going to go off tackle to the left. Go and play action. 
Ah, McKinney missed up on that one. That's two straight passes. I'm going to stay in man. I think they're eventually going to run it. We'll see. It's like they're doing something like this. Ace bunch. Another pass. There he goes. Somebody go get him. Another first down. Okay. So they're doing whatever they want to at the moment, which we've seen before. This doesn't surprise me. A lot of teams tend to do well on their first drive. Now, now go in zone. Now watch them run the ball. Told you. <laughs> Half back nine. First down. So every play's been a first down, more or less. Now let's go back to man. Now let's see if they go back to the passing game. They're doing this. I'm going to do something like that. Yep, passing. Another first down. Just they're playing perfect football at the moment. Let's take a chance to do a zone blitz. Nothing else is working. Now watch them run to the opposite side. Off tackle. Oh my gosh, he had him right there. Good tackle by Nichols. Thankfully, we blitz off that side. They're going four wide. All right, let's go quarters. It would be a minor miracle if we could hold them to a field goal. Long way from that, though. Somebody get him. Ow, ow, ow. Just awful. I should have just let the CPU handle that one. I don't think it was going to make a difference. I think they were destined to score on that drive. Just way too easy. Okay. This is going to be a toughie. We're going to need some breaks. We're going to need them to turn the ball over a time or two. We're going to have to keep up with them on the score in front. So I think what I may do is run some clock. Because I'm afraid our defense is going to have a hard time against that offense today. So maybe playing some defense via the offense and running clock will help. But we got to score with them. So we can try that. Let's see if John Redcorn can do something here. Just no blocking. Right hash. I need to fix a couple of sub packages. Do something like this. We can go here. Let's run dive with Miranda. Zone nickel. Let's try do something like this. Not bad. Pick up about five. Uh, we can go to our pat and toss play with Pero. Man, but their impact guys on the side I want to run towards. We're not going to run in that direction. Let's go and do something like this. And I'm going to just run a ton of clock. Might as well. Their offense scares me to death. Maybe our defense can calm down a little bit throughout the game. Let's go ahead and snap it. Good play by Pero. Get a first down. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go with one ISO. Going zone. We'll let our... Heisman candidate quarterback do something here. We'll probably go to Perro or to Parker, depending on what those linebackers do. Those are the only real zone beaters I have in this play. Get it down to a couple of seconds. That's a uh, that could be an interference. I hope that's what that is. Holding. So that's what second or first and twenty. What we can try to do, I'm going to make some of that up. Let's try. Let's do a direct. Zone dime. The clock has stopped. I'm going to go ahead and snap this. Good block there. Good block there. Great play by Heal. We needed that play. I don't mind using that play in a situation like that. I wasn't expecting to get 20 plus yards, but good run by Heal. Let's go with, it's on my mind. Let's go with a halfback screen. We're going zone. We're going to bounce this to Pero. I'm just trying to get him out in the open field. Again, run clock. Might as well. So this could be a very short video. Shorter than usual. 
Let's go ahead and snap that. Ooh, just enough. Not the best throw. Good catch by Perro. Second and three. Let's go halfback out. We're going man. And uh, the clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and snap this. Good throw. Good catch by Myrick. First and ten. Let's try. Uh, let's do a basic slam from a slot with Miranda. Zone 4-3. I guess we'll go left. I think I may leave it as is. I don't want any of those linebackers to move much. So we'll just read that left outside linebacker. He's coming in. We'll go out. Not a whole lot there. Pretty good defense. I'm going to go back to the run game. We're going to go with another toss. This time from Ace Normal. Zone 4-3. Uh, let's go. We'll go to the left. Uh, let's try. Well, I'm going to wait. Let's bring Parker back. I think I'm going to bring Parker over. Get us an extra blocker. Let's do something like this. Can he's going to go back over? They go with the option. Lateral's back. Pretty good play. Picked up four or five. Third and two. I would love to run it here, but I don't trust our run blocking in this situation. Let's go half back flare. We're going man four three, which is good. I'll probably keep this simple and just go to Pero. Do something like that. Try to do a stiff arm. Didn't get any. Good play, though, by Piero. So now we're on to seven. We can try. I'm going to go back here. He's still feeling okay. Let's do a slam with Piero. They're going 5-2. Their impact linebacker isn't out there. Uh, well, we'll go to the right. I guess we got no choice. We're going to let that clock roll. Let's see if... We may have to go between that tackle and tight end. Let's go ahead and snap it. Nope, not going to have to. Good deal. So that's a good drive. That's exactly what I wanted. Just go right down the field, methodically run a ton of clock, get a touchdown. We're going to tie this thing up. And just like that, the quarter is almost over with. So I think that's a pretty good game plan. We just need, need to gain a possession somewhere. Via a turnover, anything would be great. Took up over three minutes. I'll take that any day of the week, especially against this team. We'll kick it back off. That's a good midfield logo, the new ACC championship logo. Now, this is going out of bounds. I hit the button too late, so they're going to get decent field position. My bad, it happens. As we all have seen, it's... Heisman kick and it's no joke. The kick out of bounds will it has nothing to do with the kicker. Well, let's go man. Now, they threw the ball a ton on that last drive. Let's see if they keep doing that, but I think they're going to start running the ball. Play action. Oh, my gosh. They're just making play. Fumble. Somebody get it. Dang it. Golly. Man, that, we could have used that. And just like that, they're past midfield. Now I'm going zone. Please don't run the ball. Passing over the middle. Yep. Look at that. He's just bump another fumble. And they got it again. Golly. We need to pick that up. So there's one second left in the quarter. They're going to let that one go. So we're tied up, but it's obvious Florida State, they're doing whatever they want to on offense. We're going to have to get lucky on one of those fumbles. Eventually, we'll pick one of them up. Right now, they're getting getting back on it. Let's see what they go with. Another pass. Another catch. And we... I, I don't know what we're doing on the, on the back end. So I guess we're going to have no choice but to go zone a lot. They passed the entire time. So I guess we're going to do a lot more zone going forward. Like, for whatever reason, our corners can't tackle anybody. I don't understand it. 
But what do you do? I don't know. Nothing you can't do. You just got to take it and try to score with them. I keep thinking they want to run the ball some, but apparently they don't want to. Let that one go. We can go back. We can go back to a toss. We're going zone 4-3. Uh, uh, let's, uh, I still want to go to the right. Just perfect, just perfect defense. Nowhere to go. So guess what? If they're going to do some cheesy stuff, then I may try to do something as well. I wouldn't call it cheesy. I'm going back to direct. Why not? If they're getting goofy plays off their passing game, then there's no reason why I can't do this. Now, I think they are... There we go. We're going to do something like this. I'm going to let that clock run some more. I'd like to see the linebacker get picked up by somebody. Like the center. High snap does not help. He has some room. Did we get the first? I think we did. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a first and ten. I don't mind calling it. Let's go. And also a nice RB deep. We're going man. Here's our chance to maybe go after a safety. I'd love to do something like this. Work from the shotgun. With Peterson. That's the better matchup. It should be. Yeah, he's a little bit better. But it depends if they go cover zero or not. Go and cover one. Oh, he failed. Good deal. We'll take it. We're going to need all the help we can get today, I'm afraid. Good play by Myrick. Good throw. Good everything. I'm going to go back. Uh, let's go somewhere like this. We're going to do four ISO. I want to go attack the right side of the field. Clock is going. We're going to go with somebody on the right. Now, this out route's a little bit riskier than the little zig out route you see on the left side. I'd love for them to go cover zero. I'd love to go to our tight end. Let's go ahead and snap it. Cover one. I threw that way too late, but we got the yards. Good deal. But it's, what, second and three, maybe? Second and two? Let's go slam. And we take a quick look zone 4-3. Uh, I'm going to go to the right. To the I'm going to bring this guy over. It resulted in a touchdown. Shouldn't affect too much. I just want to stay away from that linebacker. Let's see if we can pick up the first with Miranda. Miranda. Just, oh, get, wow, great play. Just ran through people. Awesome look right here. Somehow, I think just him being big and he can just bounce off people, his strength helps a lot right there. Almost gets the touchdown. On the three. Let's just run the same play. Let's just get in. Zone 4-3. I think I may go to the right again. I think I may leave it as... Uh, let's just bring him back over. We'll just call the same thing. No reason to get cute whatsoever in this game. We gotta be very careful. Good defense. Nowhere to go there. I'm gonna call the same thing though. Well, we can do the dive. Maybe I'm gonna flip it. That's why I flipped. I want that linebacker to stay over there. That guy's gonna move over. Last such, and we're gonna go to the right. And guess what? We get to run more clock. Good news is we get the ball start of the third quarter. If we can somehow do some serious damage in these last two minutes, like maybe stop them somehow, that would be great. Do something like this. Fumble. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Myrick. Myrick picked it up. I would have got really upset if we did not get that ball. Oh man. So they recovered two fumbles. We recovered a fumble. I don't, I don't know if the rain is affecting things or not. There's no way of knowing that. So that's three fumbles today, but both teams have recovered them all. All right, less than two minutes to go. What do we do on defense? I have no clue, but we are going to go back to doing some more zone since they're throwing the ball so much. And this is going to the impact guy. I don't mean to go to him, but somebody stop him. Fumble! Somebody pick it up! 
Ah, they got a pick. Wow, that's four. Insane. All right, let's go quarters. We're going to do a spy. I'm not going to let that dude run around on us. He's already ran, what, a couple times? I'm assuming they're going to throw. Not a big fan of that linebacker moving over like he did. We do. Fumble, another fumble. And they get it back. Why not? I don't understand it. I think it's the, the rain, maybe, but knocks his head off, but they get it right back. That's four. Literally four. Gosh, we got to recover one of those. So they called a timeout, so they still want to try to do something. Going halfback dive. Oh, no. Oh, good tackle, Al. So it's what? Third and two? I am... We're going to go, man. I'm not going to stop the clock. I'll stop the clock if we can stop him here. Florida State goes with the ace set here. I'm coming down just in case. I think they may just try to run it for the first down. If not, I'm going to have to hurry back really quick. I'm taking a chance that they're going to run it. Let's see what they do. Draw. Get him, get him. Ah, oh, dang it. He got by. So now they're going to do a hurry up. Who they decided not to? Let's go quarters at a nickel. So I guess correctly on that play, we just couldn't stop it. Do something like this. There we go. Somebody stop. Good play there by Nichols. They got to call another timeout. We're going to call the same thing. I didn't even do a spy on that one. So I may leave it as is again. Do something like this. Get him, get him. Oh, my gosh. Almost a sack. Third and eight. Now, I am going to do a cloud of coverage. I'm going to do the spy this time. They always like to run around on this third down situation. We're going to do the spy. I've got the middle of the field. Make that play. Good play. Best linebacker in the country. Guess what? 49 seconds to go. We're going to force the punt. I'm going to do the return because I don't think they'll they'll come in to protect if we win for an all-out block. 49 seconds. So that's the play we needed right there. Can we do something in this last little bit? We're going to fair catch that one. We need to get down the field if we want to try to score. Let's go halfback corner. We're going zone. Gosh, I almost don't want to turn the ball over here. You know what I'm saying? Going cover two. Intercept it. Dang it. Just overshot it. And just like that, they got the ball. Man, hell. I didn't do anything goofy. He just overshot the throw. Just not a very good throw by Gates. Oh, I didn't put any English shot it or anything. Man. Oh, well... Let's just pretend like they're still on their drive, I guess. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if they fix anything. Oh, my God! It's played by McCoy! Oh, my gosh! The man, the myth, the legend! He's given us life. 32 seconds. What can we do to not do anything stupid? Let me think. Let's go. I have an idea. Let's go to that sidelines a little bit. We don't need to do a post over the middle. Just, yeah, they're going man. He is on him, so we're going to go to one of the outside receivers. Cover one. Call timeout. First and ten. Let's go. I'm going to stay here. We're going to do the other version. We're going to do four ISO. They're going man. We're going to go to one of the outside receivers because that impact linebacker is on Parker. At least he appears to be. Cover two. Good throw. I'm going to have to call another timeout. Dang it, 21 seconds. What can we call here? Let's go. Uh, I'm going to take a chance going under center here. They're going man. This probably isn't the right call. They're going cover one. We'll do something like this. Back. Dang it. Uh, let's go. I got one timeout. We can make this one play first. Ten, nine. 
eight, seven, six. Do something like this. Call a timeout. Call a timeout. There we go. Oh, Peterson's hurt. Messed up his shoulder. Well, we got the timeout. Two seconds to go. That was close. <laughs> so we're going to go backfield, and we're going to go with a field goal. Hopefully, I don't miss this. I'm not the best at kicking on high spin. Nobody, it's just really hard. But we should be able to make this one. Do something like this. Oh, no. I made it. <laughs> I'm awful at those. And just like that, we're up a field goal. So it worked out okay. And we get the ball started the second half. Now, cross your fingers that Peterson is not seriously hurt. We're going to go to in-game strategy. Injury report. No injuries. No big deal. Awesome. I guess it wasn't that serious of an injury. Okay, that was a fun first half. I don't know about you, but I enjoyed it. Let's go to the game stance, and let's look here. Both teams are doing a really good job on offense, but it is, you know, they are keeping it balanced, running and passing. But I think a lot of that is the quarterback trying to run around some. I think they want to throw a lot more. So we'll continue to monitor that. We're doing a really good job on third down. Uh, one turnover apiece, but look how many fumbles. There's been five already. They've been very fortunate. They've only lost. They haven't lost any, to be honest. Nobody has. Man, maybe if we can sneak one out of those, that'd be great. Let's go to individual stats. Eight of nine for Gates. No touchdowns. He had the one bad throw. He just overshot it just a little bit. Running the ball. Heel is leading in yards somehow. Miranda and Perro. If you would have told me that Perro and Miranda would have only been averaging a little over four yards and no touchdowns, I would be really worried heading to the second half. But we're up a field goal somehow. they got to play a little bit better in the run game. Hopefully we can fix that. Our receiving, Myrick is playing well. Perro, McCoy, Peterson. Uh, the ball is just finding the open man. Defense, Gunn is leading in tackles and a bunch of other people right behind him. Two tackles for loss. Respus and Poland with the two defensive tackles of all people. We got one sack in Poland and one interception by the man, the myth, the legend. They need to retire his number once it's all said and done, Jimmy McCoy. Okay, let's get back. We have to get a, a score somehow on this drive. This is our chance to take a one-possession lead on this, an extra one. All right, John Redcorn, somebody block for him. Oh, nobody blocked that guy. Dang it. So we're on the right side. Let's go back. Try toss with Perro. It hasn't worked all that well today. They're going man nickel. Let's see what they do. They're doing that. Uh, let's go to the right. They go with the option. He laterals the ball. Got some open field. Get a first down. Just enough. Did we get it? I think we did. First and ten. Good deal. Let's go. Uh, let's try a, a read with Miranda. Zone nickel. I think the clock has stopped and it is. So we will go ahead and run this thing. I want to go to the left, but man, that linebacker. I may have to flip those runs more. Good. Look at this. Gape and hole. Gape and hole, son. Take it to the house. Go, go, go. Go! Huge play by Miranda. Play of the game right there. That was a killer blocking. Wow, go back and look at this. The parting of the Red Sea. Incredible. Good job by Gay right there. Unfortunately, Miranda just isn't fast enough to outrun those guys, but just an incredible play by him. So we're like, what, on the nine-yard line? Ten. Whew, great play. Let's flip this. Let's keep running the ball. Let's go slam. And he's still over there. Berg will probably go to the right. Ooh, I guess we'll go to the left. Now's not the time for Clock is running. This quarterback is in the zone. I'm going to flip it. What do I, let's see what happens if we flip it. Look at that. Awesome. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's take advantage of it. Go over here. Just don't fumble. That's a nice six yard game. So we're, all, we're on the four. I may try. We're going to do a screen. We're going zone. They're not going to move around a whole lot, so I can leave it as is. We can let that clock run. Let's see if we can get a touchdown with Peterson. Oh, man, if we can get a touchdown here, that'd be huge. Go up 10. Get it down to a few seconds. We'll see if we can get decent blocking on the right side. 
We'll get Gates' his first touchdown, hopefully. And he drops it. Okay. On the four. I'm going to play this. Let's just run. The, I'm just going to run it. I'm not going to throw an interception, nothing like that. Let's just go slam. We're going zone dime. We'll go to the right. Six points. And a boy Miranda, you deserve that touchdown. I'm glad he got that one. He earned every bit of it after that humongous run from earlier. And just like that, we're up two scores. Let's kick an extra point. Let's go up 10. We'll get back on defense, try to figure out what to do there. Wow, big turn of, of events. We pretty much own the middle portion of this game. The last couple minutes of the game, of the first half, and the first couple minutes of the second half so far. We barely took off a minute on the clock, though. Let's go ahead and kick this thing back off. I'm going to try not to screw it up this time. Much better. Now, I think he's going to go to the impact guy. Ooh, it curled in. Good deal. Ended up being a good kick. We just got to stop him. Good tackle by 57, whoever you are. I'm going to go. Let's keep running some zone. I still think they want to throw the ball a lot more. At least that first half is what it showed. Do something like this. Play action. He dropped it. Tit for tat, I guess. I don't think he was going to get much out of that play, though. Let's go quarters at a 4-3. Thank the Lord they're not running the ball a ton today. I think that impact run halfback would do a nightmare on us. He would... Oh, they're going speed option. Big play right there. Oh, my God. Six points. Incredible play. Wow. Just like that. Incredible play by the quarterback. I am not upset over that whatsoever. Now, I screwed up at free safety there. That was an incredible play by him. Look at this fake pitch. And just like that, they got that touchdown back, but at least we're still ahead. So we're going to continue doing our same thing, continue to run a clock and try to score touchdowns. And I went zone and they went speed option. It worked out pretty well for him. Really good quarterback. Really talented. Let's see if... Wow, we're not going to take that one, that's for sure. Let that one go. Let's try. A toss with Pero. They're going zone. Just no protection. No defense. Or no blocking whatsoever. Second and long. I'm going to go back to direct. Let's see if that can bail us out again. They're going man. They're bringing in that right nickel. Just don't shift hard to the left. Ah, dang it. Let's try something else. We'll do something like that. I call the same play again, basically. They're going to run clock. Or we are. We're going to roll to the left. Hopefully our left tackle can block that impact guy. Good blocking there. We're going to just hurry up over here. Just get a first down. I didn't want to try to juke that guy. Let's just get the yards and the first down. First and 10. Uh, let's go four ISO. I'm waiting for them to go cover zero, but they haven't done much of it. Now, we're going to go to one of the outside receivers. Looks like that impact guy is... Uh, let's just... I don't know. Can't tell who's on Parker. I'd love to go to him. But we'll probably go to somebody on the outside. Hopefully everybody can block well on the left side. Cover zero. Make it... Oh, he short-armed it. Dang it! Ah, Gates! Awful throw! He short-armed it. If we're going to get Bates because his two inter turnovers. Just a bad throw. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to take blame for that one. He just short-armed it. I never, if ever, put English on any of my throws, too. Play action. Play action. He lets it go. Interception. Ow! Go, son, go! Get away from that guy. Look at that, son. Who got an interception? Your boy. Oh, my gosh. Did you notice I didn't say a word once he threw it? 
I, I was dead silent. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I think I may get an interception here. He threw it so hard and so far, and I was able to get in front of it. That's my first interception of the year, too, because I'm not the best at it, be honest, but awesome play. We can go back and do something like this. Just an incredible play right here. Oh my gosh, insane. So, okay, let's let's think. Let's run the ball. I hate that Gates isn't making the best throws in the world. He's making some really key bad throws, but... Oh, let's go. No work. Just don't fumble it. Good defense. Uh, let's... I'm going to go back to a, a toss. They're going man. Let's see if Perro can break on this one. As long as they don't shift hard to the right. Good shift. We're going to let that clock run. Let's see if Perro can bail us out. I still want to go back to Gates if I can. I might have to give him simpler throws, but even that deep ball, he just short-armed it. Man. I think he can step up in the fourth quarter, though. Pitch that one quick. I ah, didn't get the first. We did not get it's third in inches. We'll go back to slam. I think we can get the first. We're going to try it. Zone 4-3. This could be really dumb. I'm going to go to the left. Oh, no, we'll go to the right. Let's let's keep that simple. Let's go ahead and snap it. Just get the first. Just don't fumble it. Just enough. Ah, okay. First and 10. What can we call? What haven't I called in a while? Let's give Gates something simple. Let's try Y stick. We're going man. I think they're bringing some extra cats too. I think that safety's going to come down. And he is. So they're at least going to cover one. So we'll go to one of the outside receivers. Just depending on what that safety does. I'd love to go back over the top. I'd love to see Gates try that again. But we can keep it simple on the left side too if needed. Cover one. Good throw. Just got a few yards. Not a whole lot. We are going to go halfback player. Man, and they're bringing in that guy at least. Uh, we're going to do something like that. We'll give McCoy a simpler go route. So we're going to either go to Perro or McCoy. I'm pretty sure that 47, that middle linebacker, or he may not be the middle linebacker. I'm pretty sure he's on Perro, though. Go ahead and snap it. Nope, the free safety is. Just get to the outside, Perro, get a step farm. First and 10. I'm going to go back here. This time we're going to do a halfback dive. Yeah, with Miranda. We'll give Perro a break. It's man 4-3. I am going to... Hmm. This is going to be interesting. I don't know. Can I bring over any of those guys? Like, no, not him. We could bring McCoy over. Is that going to help anything? Uh, we'll go over to the left. Uh, just too, too scary. I almost wanted the dive there, to be honest. Second and nine. I'm going to try the toss again. For going zone, I'm going to let that clock roll. I'm going to let it go into the fourth quarter. I'd rather take my chances in... On trying this call on this play in the beginning of the fourth. All right, end of the third quarter. We're up a field goal, so nothing really changed that quarter. I'm gonna stay here. Let's see what they call this time. They're going back to zone, but at least the shift isn't goofy. Let's see what we can do with this. We'll go back to the right. Cut up field. Cut up field. Cut up field. Good play, Perro. Just enough. I think this offensive line is getting better and better. I'm gonna go here. Let's give Gates something simple. Let's do this halfback screen. They're going zone, so we will go to the halfback. We'll bounce this over to heel. We'll see what yards we can pick up, and then we'll figure out what to do on third or on second down. I'd love to run just as much clock as we can on this drive. That would be great. Let's go ahead over here. Ooh. Ah, not a whole lot there. Good defense. Second and nine. I almost want to... Oh, let's just go ahead and throw the ball again. We're going back to RB deep. We're going zone. We'll go to Peterson. Then it's going to be on third down. That's when things get interesting. 
Come out showing three wide. I don't want a field goal. I want a touchdown. Let's see how good of a throw this is. This is going to be the flat route. I'd like to see him just stick his foot in there and try to... Like that. Good play. Almost got the first. We may have gotten it. It was close. First and ten. Great play, everybody. All around. I'm going to go back here. We're going to run a dive with Miranda. Zone 4-3, or nickel, I should say. They're spreading out the linebackers. We're going to try to cut up field. Hopefully that linebacker doesn't do anything to us. Like force a fumble. But we're going to try to find a crease somewhere between the tackles. Let that clock run a little bit more. Just nowhere to go. Good defense. Let's try second and nine. Another toss with Pero. They're going man 4-3. We may end up going to the right. But they probably won't shift because it's a balanced set. We'll do something like this. Let's see what yards we can pick up. If our right tackle could pick up that linebacker, then I think we can get a, a first down, if not a touchdown. We need good blocking here. Tight end got beat badly. I'm going to dive, just get the first. First and goal at the one. We're going to let Miranda have it. I don't care who gets it as long as we get in the end zone. Zone 4-3, I'm going to run to the right. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and run to the right. The clock is rolling, so we're going to let it do so. Get another touchdown. I'll feel a little bit better by myself, but I won't know what we're going to do about defense. <laughs> Their offense is really good. I'm trying to play the best defense I can doing what I'm doing now, running clock. Get in there, Miranda. Get in there. Zig points. Ah, the stud, the 252-pounder. Strength. Hit that butt. Hit that butt. Good for Miranda. Just like that, we're up nine. Let's go up ten. So these next two and a half minutes, let's see what happens. It should be pretty wild. I hope their quarterback throws the rest of the way. I'm going to play a lot more zone. Just keep doing that. I think we're fine with that as long as they don't run against it. <laughs> don't run any speed option like you've done earlier. Now, I'm going to kick this straight because I don't want them to get good field position. So if I just botch this kick, then that's just all on me. But that's a really good kick right here. Perfect kick. Hopefully he'll take a knee. He's not going to. I'm going to make a stop. Good tackle by Thornton. Oh, let's go quarters. I'm not going to do a spy. I am going to do this, though. I can see them... Don't go off tackle. I think they're going to throw it. Surely they will. They're behind two scores. Intercept that. I thought McCoy was going to pick that one off. That's a good gain for him, though. Second and three. I'm going to stick with the same play. They're going gun tight, it appears. Good play by McCoy. Man, he's making plays out there. Third and three. Okay, I'm going to go clown. I'm going to do a spy. Because that'll be an easy first down for them if he just runs with it. But they may just run it. I'm going to take the chance and say that they will throw it. Huge play right here. He's wide open over there. Oh, intercept that. Someone got hit. I thought he was going to tip it to the receiver. So guess what? They're going for it. I'm going to call the same thing. I'm okay with that. This may. This is kind of play of the game right here. This could be it. I'm going to spread them out. Again, I'm doing the spy. I think they're going to throw it. They're going to throw. Get him. Oh, dang it. Nichols. Dang it. That spy is just always hit and miss. Look what he's doing right here. He's just standing right there. I'm like, okay, go get him. Go get him. So what's the point of doing that spy if he's going to do that? It doesn't happen every time. That's why you saw me pick him up and dive, which is... <sighs> heals me. I'm going to leave it as is. They're going to call something goofy here, aren't they? Get a tackle. Good play there. Keep calling that play. Fine by me. I'm going to stick with Cloud. Ooh, get back. There we go. I thought he wasn't going to get back. 
There we go. Somebody get him. Oh my gosh, what a juke. Third and one. And they're doing that. Uh, now let's do clay out again. Might as well over. That's typically our third down play. I assume they're going to throw. And they are. And he's just going to run. Oh my gosh. Just a great runner. Nobody knows what to do with this. That spy's back useless. There's Nichols again. He just couldn't do anything with it. So I'm not going to do the spy. I mean, why bother? And here comes this play again. Somebody get him. That's the play I created. I'm pretty sure it was. First and ten. I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't really don't care. Who knows what they're going to do with this? I mean, they're getting yards out of it. He got hit as soon as he threw it. Second and ten. Now what we can do is go back to quarters. So that's their go-to two-minute drill play. That screen play that I created. Like kind of getting down the field with it. Get him. Oh, my. There we go. There we go. Good sack. I'm going to go back to Cloud. I am not going to do a spy. No point in it. Nichols has a better time going after him if he just does what he's supposed to do. Let's just go after him like normal. Intercept that. Or not. He tried, but he just got over. So just like that. I'm not going to take him over. I would have messed that up. There's no point in it. So, 49 seconds. So, here's the rub. They have how many timeouts left? Can we go back and do that from here? They got two timeouts. We're going to do, they're going to do the onside kick. I'm going to do it like this. Very rare for them to recover if I do it like this. Just get out of the way. Just get it out of bounds. That's what we want. Two timeouts, 48 seconds. Let's just run the ball. I don't think we can run out the clock because they got two timeouts. I like the shift. Just don't like that impact guy on that side. Good block right there. Let's just get down. Stay in bounds. They're going to call a timeout. Second and two. Uh, if I call one, it's, I'm going to have to... Oh, it's really tough. We're going to have to do one more run. Zone 4-3. We'll go to the right. First down. Game over! There we go. Heading to the National Championship game right there. That's all we needed. Wow, what a fun game. 31-28. to That felt like a National Championship game right there. Woo, we survived it somehow. Let's go QB Neal. Victory formation. It's first and ten. Oh, man, I hope you enjoy that. That was a lot of fun. Very entertaining. Very intense. Just possession by possession game for me. If I had a run clock, we probably would have got beat. I mean, our offense is under park today, but, man, we had to keep it away from their offense. They were just – their quarterback was just too tough to stop. Neither quarterback played amazing. Now, he, the quarterback done – their quarterback done a really good job with his legs. Now, he had that big throw at the very end. But I thought both quarterbacks kind of struggled in the passing game a little bit, kind of, sort of. It doesn't matter. We survived it. We're still healthy, and we're going to go to the National Championship game, probably against Oklahoma or Iowa, one of the two. I'd like to play Iowa. That'd be pretty cool. And there it is. Na ACC champions once again. We somehow was able to come back after that bad loss to Virginia Tech, come back to the ACC title game, win it, and now we're on our way to the championship game one more time. Hopefully we can win back to back. Now we're going to check out some stats here. Once Brad Nesser stops talking, let's go here. So both teams offensively, they've done their part. They ran the ball well. Most of those yards was all the quarterback, to be honest. He went 10 of 18, 137 yards. We ended up getting a couple sacks on him. Both teams done good on third down. Turnovers. 
I guess that was a wash, but just some weird fumbles. They, I mean, nobody lost a fumble somehow throughout all of that. Just crazy. So technically, how many turnovers were there in general? If you want to count just fumbles, there's five fumbles plus, what, four interceptions? That's nine. It felt like I'm playing 07. No offense to 07. It's a decent game. But, man, that's just a ton of turnovers. I'd like to think the rain had something to do with it, though. Just crazy. Uh, the rest of that didn't say a whole lot to me. Not a whole lot of penalties uh, to go there except on us. 12 of 15 for Gates. No touchdowns, unfortunately. I tried to get in the end zone with him a couple times. It just didn't work out. He had two interceptions. Just not his best day. Yes, the percentage looks good, but when he makes a bad throw, it really was a bad throw. Running the ball. Miranda had the best game of the season for him, I think. Had two touchdowns, but that big, huge run in the fourth quarter was killer. Absolute killer. Uh, Perro, they did a decent job containing him, being up at 73 yards. Heel had some big runs. Now, I know I used halfback direct, but I had to bail us out of a couple situations, and thankfully it worked out for us. Receiving, Myrick had a good game. Uh, Perro had uh, up there with receptions, but no touchdowns by anybody. Peterson didn't get to do a whole lot. McCoy, unfortunately, didn't get to do a whole lot. Just our passing game just struggled for most of the day. Defensively, gun led in tackles. Then you got tackles for loss. We got four guys with one apiece. Had a couple sacks, and we had two interceptions. One by the best player on our team in McCoy. And then Ashley Brown, myself, I was able to get an interception, which was really cool to do. All right, let's get out of here. Now, I would show you the scores for the championship week, but if I do that, that means I have to sim the rest of the week, or I may have messed up on that. But I don't want to do that accidentally head into the next week because that's when we're going to see the Heisman Trophy presentation and all that good stuff. And I want to start that at the beginning of the next video. So in our next video, we're going to take on whoever. Pretty good chance we can go look at that at least. We can go to Sports Illustrated, go to the bowl, uh, the bowl rankings. And... It's either going to be Oklahoma or Iowa. One of the two. It just depends on if Oklahoma loses today in their Big 12 championship game. It could be Michigan. I doubt that's going to happen. One of these two teams are going to go in. My guess is if Oklahoma wins, they'll probably play us. If not, we'll probably play Iowa. But it should be pretty neat. So I can't wait to take on whoever that's going to be. And hopefully we can bring home our second straight national championship. And hopefully we can end this dynasty on a high note. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.